Hello and welcome in this short presentation. I'm going to show you how to use my uh, application to convert an ESRI ARC Info ASCII grid format from its numerical form to a 3D object and how to in import it to 3DS Studio Max. And we're gonna use an interpolated mode which looks like this. And the floating planes mode which looks uh, like this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is to download my application. You can find it on my website in the projects tab. Uh, I give the link in the description below. Uh, it's a standalone application, so you don't have to install it. Just unzip it and it's, it's only one file and it's after clicking it's uh, ready to work. I created this application because um, I was working on my uh, long-term project of uh, visualization of castle and I wanted to use uh, uh, real uh, terrain information so uh, that I have in, in numerical format and I wanted to, to convert it directly to 3D model. Okay, so now I'm just uh, 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 sharing this application with you. I also use the generated 3D object in a Sketchfab uh, viewer to so you can uh, watch the whole uh, model um, on the website, which is pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's see how it works. Uh, our file uh, should look like this. Our first six lines are the header info and the rest uh, of the file are just data. So in the step one we are selecting our file and uh, if the file is correct this information should appear. These are read from the header. In the step 2 uh, we can specify our region, in the step 3 we are selecting our generation method, the first is interpolated which creates continuous uh, 3D mesh and the second is the floating planes which is a uh, 3D, 3D representation of the raw data where the, each plane has its uh, own height. So let's, let's choose the interpolator for now. Uh, in the step 4 we can set up our units and uh, also let's leave it for now. And in the step 5 just clicking, we are clicking convert. Uh, if the terrain is large it can take a while. In this case it's gonna take uh, about 15 seconds. Okay, so after the converting is done, we have to summarize uh, uh, information. So now let's uh, try to import our file. Uh, the one option you should uncheck is the flip Z Y axis, and the rest you can leave. Okay, so we see that everything is okay. And now let's try to import our second uh, object. These two uh, terrains are neighbors. And 
and because uh, these two pieces are next to each other uh, and the uh, coordinates, uh, coordinates uh, are preserved uh, so the, the next model will appear in, in the right place oh, okay. so uh, as we can see these two pieces are now uh, combined so they are not combined, but, uh, they just uh, lie in the uh, uh, good position and uh, as we can see uh, these two pieces are not in the uh, center of our scene uh, if we center the pivots and check uh, the position you can see that uh, because of coordinates uh, they are put uh, mm -hmm. somewhere else, uh, not in the center. Uh, if we want to center these two uh, objects, we can uh, group them into one and now just uh, uh, select the position in, in zero. Okay, so. Okay, and this is this is all. You can ungroup this now. Okay, and uh, everything looks looks okay. Now I'm gonna show how defining the regions works. Uh, we can set the starting point of a row and starting point of uh, a column and the ending point. So this is the fragment that is only uh, 100 uh, columns and 100 rows and now let's say that we want to add another piece uh, so we can uh, set the starting point to uh, 601 and import this file so this is the first part and this is the bigger second part and because uh, the coordinates are preserved uh, everything uh, is positioned in the right place Now I'm going to show you how to set up the units. Select, uh, customize and unit setup. And let's say we have uh, we want to have everything in meters. So we are selecting a metric. And in the system unit setup, we can select uh, anything from this list. For example, if we want to uh, we have cent centimeters um, we should write in this field uh, 0 0.01 meters because uh, 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 100 centimeters is 1 meter and uh, let's say if we have uh, inches in this case uh, we should we can check in Google that 1 inch is 0 0.0254 meters and we should uh, paste this value in here okay so I, I will leave in inches I'm gonna choose ok and let's uh, generate and now let's uh, import the file Let's uh, 
percent will be pivot. We can center this. check the I know that uh, the height of this uh, terrain is about 250 meters so we can see that this number is correct so the uh, everything everything is in place uh, in the right uh, uh, units and the last thing is uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, compare these two methods interpolated and floating planes but I will uh, select a small region ok now let's import these two files it's gonna uh, be in the same place because this is the same, uh, the same sector So this is the inter uh, floating planes. So now we can see the difference be between these two modes. Okay, so and this is all for this presentation. Mm, I hope that this uh, small application will help you and take care.